Filmora added some new features in the latest update, version 10.5.2, that we've all been waiting a long time for. Audio effects. Now in your projects, you can take your audio and do things like add a delay. 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 Or my favorite, reverb. If you want to learn where to find these new features and how to use them in your next project, stick around. I'll show you how. That's cool. When you open up Filmora 10 and have any audio in your timeline, if you go to the upper left and under the effects tab, you'll notice there's a new section called audio effects. Clicking on that will give you the five new effects that you can add to any audio track in your timeline. The very first one is called Echo. Simply left click and drag that down onto the audio you'd like to apply it to. And by double left clicking on that piece of audio in the upper left, you'll notice you now have an audio effects echo track added to it. Now there are two adjustments you can make. First is the delay time that you can make longer or shorter. The best way to describe this is how long it takes for the delay to start after the initial sound. A short delay time will have a very fast springy sound and a longer delay time will have more of a longer echo feel. The decay factor just tells you how quickly that echo fades away or how long you want it to last afterwards. If you want to remove that effect, just click the X above the audio effect track and it will remove it. The next three effects we have, Lobby, Big Room, and Small Room, are all three different types of reverb. Lobby would be a much larger room, so it's the largest reverb. The Big Room isn't quite as big as the Lobby, but it's still a fairly good size reverb sound. And last would be the Small Room, which gives you a small, tight reverb room sound. In the reverb settings, you can decide how dry or wet you want that effect to be. Dry refers to not having a whole lot of effect on your track, and wet refers to having a lot of effect on your track. One more effect that's been added is the phone effect. This can take any vocal track and instantly make it sound like it's coming through a phone. This is my vocal track without the phone effect. This is my vocal track with the phone effect. One thing I need to point out is the effect only lasts as long as the clip. So if you have a very short clip and you have a big room reverb attached to it, the reverb will only last as long as the clip is playing. So if you want a long drawn out reverb effect, make sure you're using a longer audio clip. If you wanna learn more video editing tips, tricks, and techniques, click on the video that's on screen now or the ones I'll link down below. Peace.